All right, here we have the main gearbox lubrication and cooling system for the EC225 LP Super Puma. Um, looks pretty complicated. It's not as complicated as you would imagine. Um, we'll go down into the main gearbox itself. Starting on the left, we have the standby pump. The standby pump, um, as long as the main pump is working correctly, maintain over 3.7 bars it pumps it never shuts off both of these pumps are operate off the same gear within the transmission and it will just circulate the fluid and not set it all over um, the main pump and as we noticed the, the standby pump picks up in the sump whereas the main pump picks up here at the 8 liter level the main pump lubricates and circulates oil throughout um, the main gearbox towards the back of the uh, you know behind the main gearbox there's a cooler there's a shaft that comes out with a fan that turns air and cools it cools the hydraulic fluid or I'm sorry the main gearbox fluid main gearbox fluid is circulated back into the main gearbox um, in the event that, like I said, that the standby pump is activated, that's if the main pressure goes below 3.7, the fluid is then circulated through the main gearbox. It is not cooled at this point. Um, it just is circulated through the main gearbox. If we get an amber light, main gearbox temperature. That tells us that the main gearbox temperature is 128 degrees Celsius. Um, we can hit the standby cool switch at which time the standby pump will pump fluid. 60% uh, of the fluid will come out and then right behind the main gearbox is also two little uh, heat exchangers. They call radiators here. It actually looks like one, but there's actually two of them that are side by side. There is no uh, fan, but on top of the aircraft is a scoop. So as we fly forward in flight, the, the air pressure will force that air through the scoop and down over top of those heat exchangers and uh, therefore cooling that, hopefully maintaining below uh, 210 degrees Celsius. Um, another function of the main gearbox is we have a glycol uh, in the event that we lose pressure from the main pump and the standby pump and the only way we would lose pressure is if we lost fluid basically not the only way but the main the main way so then we would get a main pump or uh, MGB pressure that means that the main gearbox is no longer, longer lubricated, at which point we would hit the EM lube. There's a button on top, EM lube, and a, a shot will be illuminated. So when we activate that shot, there's a reservoir that has a, a total capacity of 12 liters of glycol. It actually, um, they actually put 11 liters of glycol in there. So, the left engine, the number one engine, there is air taken off of the 2.4 air, P2.4. The air itself is too hot, so that air is pumped back behind the main gearbox through a heat exchanger. It cools that air, and then right on the back of the main gearbox is uh, a mixing unit that combines the glycol and the air. So the glycol is actually pumped via an electric pump. It's mixed with the 2.4 air and is injected into the main transmission to 11 points that they've designated as the most, uh, most important points to lubricate. Not to cool, but to lubricate. And then if that works correctly as advertised, then you will have approximately 30 minutes of continued flight time. So I think it's important to know that like, you want to land pretty much at, at a safe area to land. Um, if that does not work, then you basically need to land immediately. Uh, 
ditch or mat mat immediately. Okay, thank you.